Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We have just parked the Z over at this cards and coffee meet here in Brisbane, Australia. This meet is fucking hectic. There's so many more cars here than there were last month. There's crazy amounts of exotics, JDMs and tuners. So I'm super excited to get into the video. Let's just get straight into it. So obviously we got my 350Z parked up here today at the cars and coffee meet. Everyone loves the plates, high cops, pretty suicidal plates if you do ask me, but I am pretty excited to get into today's video. There is so many crazy cars up on show today. As you can see, we've got a BRZ, we got a Subaru WRX here, we've got an old Porsche 911, but also, we've got a Pontiac Trans Am, which you don't see here much in Australia. We, we have pretty much no muscle cars here, so when it comes to you guys in America, you guys are blessed when it comes to that. Some sort of old school Alfa Romeo with the brown tanned leather interior with the wood grain steering wheel. That looks pretty good. We've got whatever the hell this thing is over here. I actually have no idea what this car is, but it looks absolutely ballistic. The color, I don't know if it's showing up very well on camera, but it is a like a teal cyan color and it does look amazing. Also got this here. So if there's cars that you know in the comments that are like really rare and that I have no idea what I'm looking at, let me know down below because there's a lot of cars here and my knowledge only spans to mostly JDM cars and exotics to be honest. But look at that, we got the Aston Martin over here as well. I think that Vanquish was actually here at last meet so we'll probably move on. Got a nice clean Subi WRX, another black Supra, an actual Mini before they were turned massive. Got a beautiful Datsun 260Z in like a maroon brown tinge. And Hurricane Performante isn't bad at all either. Look at that, we've got the 350Z up front, the Ferrari 458 and also the Hurricane Performante. The top three cars at the meet in my opinion. <laughs> nah, but in all seriousness, it's cool to see the Z fit in with those two exotic cars. We also got a yellow 360 Mondena Ferrari here as well. And we got an old Z28 Camaro in like a green tint, which looks pretty cool as well. I don't think I told you guys that it took forever to find a park here. Cause as you can see, the, the meat is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it's crazy, there's a lot of stuff going on, but this might be one of the cleanest Mustangs I've actually seen, drop top Mustang. I uh, love this color. I don't know if I'm really growing on blue at the moment. This meat is that ballistic that we actually have our own food stalls here at the meat. We got the Supra, the brand new one, also the 8.6 wide body. Looks like, is that a Ferrari Testarossa over there as well? <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Like, I don't really see too many exotics here in Australia. Like, they're definitely out here but you just don't see them as much as you guys do in America. So when we see Ferraris and Lamborghinis, it's like extra special over here compared to over America. Let's got the Golf R in like a purple color, which is a pretty nice subtle wrap. I do like that. I've also got an orange Mazda MX-5 here too, which looks absolutely awesome. I love seeing them in the orange color. You don't see that very often. And by far the cleanest car of the meet right here, Mitsubishi Magna with no wheels basically. Um, got a really, oh my God, this Porsche is, Absolutely stunning. I love this thing. Wow. Let's check out the interior on that. Got the matte black Performante over there as well. It looks like we got a clean Evo 10 on TE 37s. Uh, yellow Mustang. I think we've seen enough of those. Let's head over onto that section over there. Now, unfortunately, my girlfriend couldn't make it to the meet today. She is actually at a family wedding. Um, so unfortunately she couldn't come, so if I'm not super confident on camera, that's probably why. Um, because she's not around me, so I have to film in front of hundreds of people. So this might not be the highest quality video, but it'll probably be pretty decent. The cars speak for themselves. I'll also be doing pulls and stuff at the end, so stay tuned for that. Also got a nice drop top Corvette as well. I love seeing Corvettes here in Australia. It's something always nice to see. Also got another Ferrari 360 over there. Holy shit, look at that BMW. We're gonna move up onto that one. Before we hit the BMW, we've got this nice, kind of like chameleon wrap almost on the Range Rover. Also got a nice light baby blue on the Ford Mustang. We've got this absolute stunning BMW. <laughs> this thing looks like a track 
beast. I absolutely love this thing. I'm not the hugest fan of BMWs, but this one is definitely one that I would actually rock and drive the shit out of myself. I absolutely love this. I'm not huge on Euro cars, so I don't know too much about them, but I absolutely love this thing. Look at the size of the disc rotors there. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Got this nice orange on the Porsche SUV. R32 GTR over there. Just casually, you know, you guys in America probably like jizzing everywhere. Like, oh my God, R32 GTR, but it's like in Australia. They're not that rare, like they're rare, but um, <laughs> you know, muscle cars are much more rare over here in Australia, I suppose. We got an L plater in a Ford Mustang. That is a pretty beefy flex. I wouldn't mind learning in that bad boy. If you guys don't know what L plates are, basically it's before you even get your proper license when you have to drive accompanied with an adult, but learning in that car would definitely be pretty awesome. And look what we have here. We have the rotary gang. We got the Mazda RX-3 as well as a Vail side Mazda RX-7, which I've never seen one in person. So this is a first time for me. Um, I absolutely love it, the shape of this thing. Full Fast and Furious spec. Um, looks pretty awesome. I have no idea about what's been done to this car, but it does look stunning. Also got the RX-3 here, which is awesome. Really appreciating in value the RX-3s. We'll take a round look at the back here of the two cars. As you can see, the Mazda here, it's literally still, looks like it's still on Jap plates. So I don't even think it's been registered here yet. And then here's the Vail side Mazda RX-7 as well. Clean fitment, good wing. Just overall a beautiful looking car. <laughs> Not gonna lie, all the dingy ghetto meats here in Australia really do suck, but this one is one that is always worth going to. Always such a wide, vast array of cars. It's not just the same type of, you know, Commodores or just boring cars. We have so many things ranging from muscles to exotics to JDM. It's always a treat coming out here on Cars and Coffee. Look at that, we've got the AC Cobra as well. Looking really good, I love this car. Never seen one in person, I don't believe. Maybe one or two, but not too many. And now we've got the exotic section. And stay tuned for this, because this is where it gets good. Start things off pretty slow. We've got the orange Hurricane over here. And look at this spec. I don't believe I have seen this at all here in Brisbane yet. But we have a purple, correct me if I'm wrong, SF. 590 Stradale, whatever, maybe, I think, I think it's called something else. I did forget it. It's one of the brand new Ferraris that's come out, but it is in this like metallic purple that looks absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but you can see the vast array of different in the colors. I absolutely love the paint. Also got the 488 over here in the blue. And here we go. Look at that. The only wind body, this specific kit on a GTR in the Southern Hemisphere. It's in this beautiful cyan blue as well. Full Lamborghini colors. This spec on this GTR is absolutely insane. I, I, I don't even know where to begin with this car. Just got a casually Gallardo over here as well. So let me know what you guys think of the blue wind bodied um, GTR. It looks cool. I do love myself a Gallardo. These things do sound absolutely phenomenal. Also got the um, molded wind body Mustang as well, which looks pretty nice. As we can see, we've got another Ferrari over here. We've got a Lotus Exige. Looks like maybe two Lotus, oh, three. Three Lotus Exiges parked up here today. Looks like they actually are for sale and they've actually put the pricing on them. Pretty good marketing if you do, in fact, ask me. Um, oh, the whole, I didn't even notice the whole row is full of lotuses which is pretty awesome i'm not gonna lie get another ferrari 458 and look at that we have a ford gt now this thing is most likely a kid car there is something off about the front but still seeing something like this out in person is pretty special um definitely crazy i, I love the look of this thing we've got an interesting car over here as well got a lamb is this no it, it nearly it nearly got me for a Countach, but it's not a Countach. Nearly made me believe it was. I don't actually 100% know too much about this car, but it does look like a knockoff Countach in my opinion. Um, we got another 458 over here, uh, McLaren MP4, and another Ferrari, um, I believe this is the 360 Mandena. Um, maybe the 
Oh, there you go. It's on the license plate. I'm probably going to come back to the GTR to get my thumbnail once the sun has come out as well. I'm going to see this nice Mustang over here. We've got a couple of Lotus Caterhams, I believe, as well. Correct me if I am wrong on any of these cars. I am not the car expert, but I will become one as the channel grows. We've got a nice, whatever this is over here. Uh, we've got the yellow wagon. Um, I don't know if there's too much down there, but it doesn't hurt to check. So, and we got one of my girlfriend's dream cars right here. We got the 180 SX Type X2, I believe, uh, which is impressive. Looks like we got a Honda S2000. Now you guys probably didn't know, I nearly bought Honda S2000. When I was weighing up my options for cars, I was picking between the 350Z and the S2000, which I think the 350Z was the right choice, but S2000 prices have gone pretty ballistic. As you can see, we also have an old school AE86 as well, which I'm never gonna complain about. Uh, we got a white 370Z paired up with the F12 Ferrari. Uh, sorry Z gang, but we're gonna have to pick the Ferrari on this one. I don't mind myself a clean Ferrari. So now we're traveled so far back, we're in kind of like a dingy alleyway. The, the meat is so big that like, you actually have to do a lot of walking to even get around, because it's really my whole city's only really good meat that's on. So that's why all the cars come to it. We got another Porsche 911, I believe. 911? G35, A86, 911 Carrera, uh, MX-5. We got another 4 GT. Now, whether or not this is the real thing, that's something we will never know because that's 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 the history with the 4 GT there they're just they're always kid cars it's not a bad thing at all but it's something you just got to take into account you never know if it's the real thing or not if you guys can let me know this one seems to be a bit of a better replica if it is one but let me know if it's real if you guys are a connoisseur out there and you know what you're looking at because I don't got a clean Lexus here as well a um, couple little oh my god the Evo my girlfriend wish I wish my girlfriend was here today because she would have absolutely loved to see this. A nice, clean, massive wanged Evo. Probably make her the happiest thing in the world. And look at that, it has the Tome exhaust as well. Fits just like me, the Tome exhaust gang. Massive wang. My girlfriend would absolutely love this car. I just absolutely love it in every way. Um, so one day, but the first step for her is the 180SX. We got a Camaro here as well, which we don't see too many of. Probably more common muscle car here in Australia, but definitely don't see that many of them um, here in Australia. Unlike you guys in America, which see them all the bloody time. So they're a bit more special over here. We also got a clean 300ZX as well. Similar spec um, to my father's one. Don't know if it's the turbo model at all. Do believe it is the manual trans. And look at this, absolutely gorgeous. Mercedes, I absolutely love this car, it looks, looks stunning. I don't even know what it is, it's an SL class, right? Yeah, 500 SL, looks gorgeous. I've always loved myself an SL class, like I'm not a Mercedes fan at all, but an SL class, I will definitely not complain about. And then also over here, we got the um, S13. It's both S13, so it has the old school um, S13 rear, it's got the pop-up front, which I'm, it's usually done the other way around, but it's interesting nonetheless. Don't really see that done very often. So we've been to the middle section. We've been to this section, but we haven't been to the back right section. So we're gonna go check that out now. I've also got a few more sections to check out and then we have to do the pulls as well. So this meet's gonna be absolutely crazy. We're in one of the, another little back alley. I believe this is an old school M3. As we can see, we got the front trunk that opens up from the front, you also get a closer look at the Ferrari 458 and the Huracan Performante as well. Um, which one would you pick? Um, I don't know. I think there's so many cars here that it really does make it difficult to decide on a car that I'd pick, but I can't go wrong with an orange Performante. Not always the biggest fan of the forged carbon fiber, but I do believe when it's glossed, it does look a lot better than when it is the matte. Also got some more old school Porsches here. And I believe this yeah. might be a Porsche as well. I think it is. Um, <laughs> this is pretty sick. It looks like a, uh, how is this road legal was the real question. Um, but it does look stunning. Lime green Porsche and a little beige Porsche. Now we've also got a black on black 
Nissan 350Z. Which one would you pick? My 350Z or this black on black one with the different front bumper, side splitter, duck bill, and the diffuser? I will be honest, it is not as nowhere near as clean as my 350Z. You've got a massive dent. Um, not the perfect fitment, but it is a Z, so it will look nice. Uh, the interior, oh my god. Can you see that seat, guys? I don't know if you can see that seat but I've never seen a seat in that bad condition. My seats are like buttery, smooth, orange, pristine leather. Um, I've never seen a Z seat that bad before. That's, that's one thing that hurts me is that Zs, they just get thrashed all the time. But nonetheless, it's still a very good looking car. And got a coffee stand here as well. It's like a fully licensed event, which is really awesome to see. Old school, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> I don't know muscle cars, I'm sorry, we just don't get them here. Here is a closer look at the 180SX that we saw drive by as well. Always such a clean shape on these cars. Love the pop-ups. It does actually look like quite a clean example. The bodywork looks to be in pretty good shape, which is pretty rare for a 180SX, that's for sure. But you can't go wrong with the shape on these things. Look at that. We have a Mitsubishi GTO. Now you guys call them the 3000 GT in America, but they're the GTO officially in Japan and over here because they were imported. They were import only over here. Um, we didn't actually sell them locally like you guys did in the States, but it's like an orange color as well, which I have never seen. So as you guys know, I'm a massive, massive fan of orange. We got some sort of Pontiac here. Um, nice RS series Audi and also you can't go wrong with the AMG C-Class as well. Now I heard you guys aren't getting the GI Yaris's over in the US. We're seeing them absolutely pop up everywhere here in Australia. We've got that beautiful S14s over there as well. Which front end would you choose? It's kind of it's kind of hard. They're both good looking. They're kind of different styles. One's more subtle and sleek and one is more aggressive. They do have names for them, but I do not remember. Now we're making our way all the way to the other side of the meet. Not the main meet, but there is some exotics parked around the corner. And as you can see, we do have my 350Z here that needs some proper tires, needs a low, needs a lot of TLC. I mean, it is like perfect interior and body wise pretty much, but it does need a bit of work done. But as you can see, this car is absolutely stunning. I also usually have my orange lights and the um, DRL on in the day, which looks fucking amazing. And the plates, really awesome plates. I, I love those things. And you've got that beautiful Ford Mustang up there on the truck. Also, we've got this Megane RS, which I love the colors that come on them. They come in this yellow pearlescent and this orange pearlescent too, which looks absolutely stunning. We've got some rice rockets revving over there. But let's move on to the exotics. We have this beautiful blue Audi R8 as well. It is a beautiful color. Is it the stick shift? Um... And it is not the stick shift, but they do make the automatics look like the stick shift. I always love the carbon fiber blade that is on the rear of these cars. Here is a back picture and you can see that glorious V10 out in the back. Also got a metallic blue Huracan Evo over here. These are pretty brand new. They do look pretty good. Got a revised rear end. Um, can't go wrong ever with a Huracan. And you've just got a Fairy Queen. Oh. And you've got the Volkswagens with the tuned pops because that's all they can do. But <laughs> we got the white Lamborghini Urus here. Solid looking cars. Um, definitely white wouldn't be the choice I'd pick, but it is still a very clean looking car. Looks like we also have a Lotus Evora and a Ferrari F12 over there. And here we go. Here is the Ferrari F12, the massive number seven on there. Pilot Sport 4S is there. Exact tire that I'd be getting on my car. So if it's good enough for a Ferrari F12, it's good enough for the Z. As you can see, the number plate says 9,000 RPM. Just in case your dick wasn't big enough, you got to let everyone know that it revs to 9,000. And there is the Evora over there. It's also got a wing on the back. Not a huge fan of the Evora. The proportions have always been a little strange to me. But nonetheless, there she is right there. It's a weird in-between Grand Tourist sports car. Um, it's, it's, it's just a weird car, in my opinion. It has weird proportions, and like the pricing of these is so expensive. Uh, so many better options, in my opinion. But nonetheless, if you want a Lotus, I mean, it's a very specific niche, I think, when it comes to a Lotus car. I think we've got a lot of cars dipping now, so I'm gonna go and go all the way back down to the end and film all the pools of all the vehicles leaving. So 
get ready for that. And this right here is that metallic orange color that I was talking about that is on the Megans. Um, it actually is a beautiful color when it's really clean and out in the sun. But nonetheless, we need to get to the edge there where everyone is far out. It takes forever to walk. This is so fucking far. I've been walking like probably like 2Ks to get it. I can't wait to rev the shit out of the Z when I pull out of here. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm also going to put the GoPro on the back of the car as well so you can see me do a pull off in the crown. But let's get the pulls.
350Z coming back.